So, Ron, given the scandals that we've been reading about on a global basis, why are we still reading about issues regarding honesty, integrity, and trust? Why are you still writing about honesty, integrity, and trust? I mean, given these scandals, why are these issues so persistent and stubborn, not just on a local basis, but on a global basis? Well, I think a part of the issue, Richard, is because so much of our discussion about misconduct is rooted in scandal avoidance, right? We, we, we don't want to be the headline story like a Wells Fargo or a Theranos or a Volkswagen. But that's, there's so many more reasons to want to shape cultures of honesty than to not, not be in a nightmare. We, we know that companies that are um, purpose-driven, who have integrity, who are trustworthy, outperform um, in many in many indices but from stock performance from customer loyalty we, we know the epg portfolio stories there's so many more reasons but most importantly it those are the environments in which people become their best selves they do their best work they're at their most satisfied they make their greatest impact and they have the greatest amount of joy so there are so many more reasons to want to shape organizations of truth justice and purpose besides to avoid bad news uh, <clears throat> I think we haven't shifted the conversation yet to understand what honesty really is and what a, a resource it really is and how to actually build a muscle. It's, these are capabilities that are hard to build. They're not just like, let's just cross our fingers and hope everybody behaves nicely. Or um, it's no longer enough not to, not to lie. You have to say the right thing, do the right thing, and say and do the right thing for the right reason. The bar has gone up. Be because the experience has gone so low, our expectations have just gone higher. Ron, that's a great point. Just because we're talking about honesty, integrity, and trust doesn't mean that we're questioning it or we're sacrificing it. Like you said, it's like a muscle. The more we're talking about it, the more we're building it. That is a wonderful point. But Ron, I don't want to have any more spoiler alerts, so I'm going to include links to our interview on the FCPA blog, and I'm also going to put a link to where everyone can pre-order a copy of To Be Honest. So Ron, thank you again for your time today. Richard, a pleasure always. Thank you so much. Likewise.